It's just such a great honor to welcome everybody that's been at Bridgewater for more than 10 years that have built this place and bring in the new entrants to the club, the ones that have been here 10 years. And you all, we all made it 10 years, and not just made it, but really thrived and grew and came to love this place, and it's because of the great character that all of you have. I go through this list and I look at those faces and I feel like I've been in the trenches uh, with, with so many of you for the last 10 years. And everything we are is because of you and what came before you. And everything we'll be is based on what you and all we do. So thank you and congratulations for 10 incredible years. This event is all about you guys and about family and thanking you for becoming part of our family. Thank you all. You really are making it happen. You really are the backbone of the company. And, uh, you know, I was thinking about this, and the, really the only thing I want to say uh, on this 10th year anniversary is thank you. So, Gombe. Well, welcome, everybody. Uh, to this year's event. Uh, welcome honorees, welcome guests. Uh, over the years, we've always taken the opportunity to celebrate this important milestone, which is 10 years at Bridgewater, 10 years being such an important part of this community. And we've celebrated it in rain and shine, in good times and bad. Uh, when we outgrew the lookout, we found a, a nice way to celebrate. And even in the middle of a global pandemic, uh, we're going to have a chance to celebrate. So Hopefully you're all enjoying your, uh, your great meals from the lookout and hopefully uh, you're enjoying uh, an opportunity to scan through the gallery and to see all your great uh, friends, uh, your family, the people that are here to celebrate you. Um, I'm really so proud to be part of, uh, of this group of people, this community, and more proud than ever this year because all of you have shown such resilience and such determination and such uh, caring uh, for each other. So uh, looking forward to a great night with all of you. And now I'm going to kick it off uh, and hand it over to our unofficial MCs, Dana Mooney and Brian Kelsey. Woo! Happy 10 year. Happy 10 year. Brian and I are going to be calling some of the honorees together to hear some of their stories. You know, Dana, this is a little different than uh, past years. Normally we get to interview people and we're at the lookout or other cool places. Now we're we're at home. How can we make it more exciting? Well, no, that's, well, that's what I was saying. Why can't we? Can we go to the lookout and we'll just be six feet apart and, you know? Let's go to the lookout and that way we can get some banter going. You and me, same room. I haven't seen you in six months. Ready? One, two, three. Well, this is unfortunate. How did I get outside, first of all? Can you we're hear gonna, me? Hello? We're going to make it work. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to interview them. You outside, me inside. Oh, let's try Olivia. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, my dog. <laughs> and the CDC guidelines changed on Friday, and we were no longer allowed to be in the same room, even if we were like 12 feet apart. So now Brian's <laughs> on the other side of this window. You managed to pull off some incredible things. Well, Tell me more about what it takes to do that. The thing about Bridgewater that I love, because I'm from the theater, is it's always, always supported my creativity. Like no matter what, wh who I was working for. It's like, I've had the luxury of people saying, go for it. Hi, Hayes. They could be your hot dog king. I have never been more creative and more satisfied ever in my job than I've been at Bridgewater. Never was I this good in the theater. And why that is, is because I'm comfortable being me. Like for the first time in my life, people like me and treat me because of me. And so I feel safe to be creative. And if there's nothing else after 10 years of being here, and I'm, I'm getting kind of emotional about it, it's because where else can you just do what you love to do and be supportive and have people recognize that you're good at it. What is the special thing about Bridgewater that makes it hard to walk away? People. Hands down, I think, I don't know what it is about the people, but like people who share some common, I'm like a, the same value of like excellence and truthful. Um, now those two things, right? It's like, it's very difficult to get that sort of people. And like, anytime that I think about changing a job, it's like, no, I don't think I'm going to get the same type of people anywhere else. So like, might as well not try it. So 
that's what keeps me here. Have you evolved while you've worked here? How has it changed you? You know, I hear this question all the time. Everyone gets asked this question and I'm gonna go a different direction. I think it's less about what Bridgewater did for me or how I evolved or changed. And I think it's more Bridgewater allowed me to be who I am. I've always been someone who had strong opinions, asked a lot of questions and was reprimanded for it everywhere else. So I'm gonna flip that question for you. So I just wanna hear a little bit about your experience just being like a member of this community. I've met some of my favorite people here. Um, you know, I'll never forget some of the early Halloween parties like where we dress up as a team and, and whatever, but you know, it's, it's, it's more the people who were, who were at my wedding. Um, you know, it's, it's, the, it's the team dinners that we've had where, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm offering to take them out to like a fancy dinner for Christmas. And they're like, nah, can we just come to your house? And David, my husband will like cook, like what can he cook for us? Because they, they like to come over and, and hang out because, you know, we, it's like a family. We figured that there are 520 Mondays in, uh, in your 10 years. How has it been every Monday morning having to get up and to go to what was then, what's going on in the world until now? I'd say it dulls all your senses because you start out coming in and saying, wow, these like senior investors, they're at each other's throats and, you know, bat, you know, batting out each other's ideas. And then that's year one. And then by year two, you're like, you know, you get you get a little surprised every time it happens, but but it dulls down. And by year ten, I'm like, actually, these guys, these guys love each other, and they're, you know, the concept of love language, the the love language in research, <laughs> is fighting for right. And so you just kind of get used to that. There's nothing sweeter than when you fight for right, and you win. Nothing sweeter in the world. You know, I, I love my colleagues and coworkers and the people I work with. And, you know, these are my colleagues. They're my, they're my friends. Like my, the groomsmen at my wedding who weren't my siblings were the people I worked with at Bridgewater. So I, you know, I want to see them and I want to spend, spend all day with them. That's, that's why I love the place. Hi, happy 10 year. Woo -woo. Oh. Were you great Boy. when you started here or did that just, <laughs> no? So you were, an army ranger, is that right? You, you know, it's it's funny. Leaving the military was the hardest decision I had to make. And um, in, in the main reason I found it hard to leave was the camaraderie, the common purpose, the idea of um, being connected to something lo much larger than yourself, um, knowing that you were surrounded with people that would literally give their life so that you could keep yours. Um, and to do it and, and to really be connected to, you know, what I believe was a noble cause, which was protecting this country, um, was the best part of the military. Uh, it was hell on family. Um, it's a financial sacrifice. Uh, you, you get literally beat up physically. But the thing that I knew I was going to miss was, was the essence of being part of a team, um, where it's, it's literally not about the glory of any one person um it's about it's about the team it's about the people you're with and and i worked at a couple of other firms for gosh more than you know almost 20 years and um you know the one thing about bridgewater that it, it's as close to replacing or uh, um it's as close to uh, replicating that feeling that i had in those army organizations where people are in it for each other. They're in it for the, uh, the clients, they're in it for the firm to win. Um, no one outworks us. And I, I think there's a deep level of care that um, is hard for a new person to understand that the feedback and the, and the constant um, accountability could, could in any way actually be in your own best interest. For those of us that stick around, it becomes almost irreplaceable. I wouldn't want to be in this fight with any other team. Um, it's just a, it's a, it's a great group with a great, a great mission, and um, it it works for me. Watching that video and seeing all of you guys that are celebrating ten years, it's an incredible thing. The COVID and the separation has really, uh, has really uh, removed community from our lives in so many ways. 
And uh, I think each one of us is, is, is struggling to restore that, but it's so important, you know, and to, to find ways to, to reconnect and continue to connect in community. Deep seated in a lot of you is this appreciation uh, and recognition uh, that this is not a job. It's something much more than that. And so, you know, I, I never dreamed of this, but the only thing I wanted was this meaningful work and meaningful relationships, you know, to be in the mission with somebody, with people that I cared about and so on. And, you know, fast forward uh, 70, uh, when I was 70th birthday, I reflected, um, you know, okay, if I had to choose, would it be meaningful work or would it be meaningful relationships? And um, I know it would be meaningful relationships. I just want to congratulate you and thank you for your tremendous commitment to Bridgewater. I want to toast you. I love you all. Thank you for making this culture way beyond me. I appreciate it. Love you all. Gombe.